Now we're going to Italy, also kind of Boston, um, to uh, Veneto, which is in the northern part, uh, for a collaboration wine with Rebel Rebel, um, who are our friends in Boston that have an amazing natural wine bar, um, for a Chiaretto Rosato, which is a rosé wine. Um, and I honestly don't have that much information about this wine just because uh, it's new and this is their first time making it. But <laughs> from the label, I know that it's 12% alcohol. Um, I don't know exactly what the mix is, but knowing it's Veneto and what they usually do, it's probably a mix of Corvina, Roninella, Molinara. That's probably it. Um, and it's super light extraction. So with that in mind, we're just going to learn about this wine together. Um, so yeah, so it's very light pink. Um, and that is kind of like in the Chiretto style. But then on the nose, it's got this really interesting like bubblegum quality, which I like uh, normally comes from malolactic fermentation, which it's possible this went through. I don't know anything about it. Um, but that's kind of the first thing I got on the top. And then after that, it's like, I don't know. It's not going to sound weird, but like round cherries. Like it smells round, if that's the way you can smell round cherries. And then after that, it's like lighter notes of cranberry, maybe, and watermelon. And I don't know if I, I always mess, mix up raspberry and cranberry, but I know in this case, I mean cranberry because I'm in Cape Cod right now and I know the difference because I've eaten a lot of cranberries. So cranberry, I would definitely say that's there. Not so much raspberry. Um, and then on the palate, Well, that is just light and fresh and fun. So it's funny because I don't normally like, I normally get like bubble gum on the nose, but I don't normally like taste it. But like, especially with the color, this thing is just like, I just want to call this like the bubble gum wine, like in the best way, just light, fresh summer. I don't want to eat anything with this. I just want to drink this. Um, so beyond that, hang on, let's keep going. So it's not just a bubblegum wine. There's definitely like, I feel like it goes from like bubblegum to very light cherry, like underripe cherry, like before it's actually red. And then like watermelon and then some sort of candied aspect, something at the end that just leaves it like feeling like fresh and fun. Um, so as far as pairing, like this is, this is like, <laughs> I always call like Provencal Rosé, like French water. Uh, and this is, I would call this like Italian water. Like this is just like goes down easy, doesn't need anything. So I would put it with snack type stuff. Like if you're gonna, if you're just sitting around eating chips and Pringles, like don't feel bad grabbing this one. Cause like, that's perfect. Um, and then, you know, like if you're gonna have like, I don't, I was about to say boiled shrimp. I don't know when you would have boiled shrimp, but you know, like food that doesn't have like a ton going on because since this wine is like really light and fresh. You don't want to overpower it with something. So anything that's like, again, like it was gonna sound bad, like bad, but like kind of like bland. <laughs> like that's what would go best with this, because like this wine is just made for like fun summer sipping. Uh, so trying to put something serious with it is gonna not let it do its best job. Um, so yeah, just have fun with it. Take it to the beach. Like what else would I want at the beach? Like have a hot dog with it. That would be great. <laughs> so enjoy the bubblegum wine of summer. <laughs> 